Cotton is one of the few crops that actually like the dry heat. Growers plant seed in early May and they harvest in October. Farm manager Daniel Pacheco has high hopes for the cotton seeds he plants in Marana, but getting them into the hard, dry ground wasn't easy this year. When we tried to get the plow in the ground, it didn't want to stay in the ground. We broke a lot of plowshares. Uh... While cotton seems to enjoy an arid climate as long as it's irrigated, Pacheco's other crops haven't fared so well. He lost about 30 to 40 percent of his wheat and sorghum last year. Sorghum just, it, 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 and wheat are, are grasses basically, and they need that moisture. They need help, uh, they need the humidity to pollinate correctly. Arizona is very likely facing a water shortage in 2022. The decades long drought has led to falling levels in Lake Mead, which means a reduction to the Central Arizona Project allotment. Pacheco does not rely heavily on CAP water thanks to supplies of groundwater in the area, but the farmers and ranchers in Pinal County do. The farmers to the north of us are, are really uh, scared right now. Uh, we need water to make crops grow, and crops are what feed us here. Uh, we, we can't be relying on other countries for our food and fiber. To make matters worse, University of Arizona research shows not only is rainfall down overall, but the average time between storms in the western United States has increased by about 50 percent. So in the 1970s, that time was about 30 days, and now it's up to 48 days. Research hydrologist Joel Biederman and his team made the conclusion after looking at data from hundreds of climate sites. The length of time between rain events can have big impacts when it comes to agriculture, flash flooding, plant life, and wildfires. If you think about what would keep a forest uh, less likely to burn, imagine that sprinkling a little water on it every, every few days or every week is probably more effective than dumping a large amount all at the beginning of the summer and then waiting a few months. Biederman says the climate trends only point to dry spells getting longer and hotter. Pacheco says his family has been dealing with changing weather since the 1950s, but after 20 years of drought and other pressures, things could reach a breaking point in the next five years. If prices stay down in cotton, the own landowners are going to be forced to sell and, and there won't be any farming here anymore. Ryan Brennan, Kega 9 on your side.